China's highest ranking female government officials in Washington for two days of high level meetings focusing on the increased interaction of Chinese and American citizens. In 2010, Vice Premier Liao Yandong and then U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton set up the 100,000 strong foundation to increase people to people exchanges between the two nations and encourage study abroad. CCTV's Nathan King joins us now with more on all of this. Nathan. Thanks, Mike. Remember the Sunnyland Summit back in June between Chinese President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Barack Obama? There was much talk about a new major power relationship. Well, along with increased business ties and more strategic cooperation, people-to-people -people exchanges were declared one of the three pillars underpinning the China-U.S. relationship. That exchange is being spearheaded by Vice Premier Li Yangdong. But here on Wednesday, she joined her co-architect of that project, Hillary Clinton, to talk about some of the youngest people in both societies. Side by side, Vice Premier Louis Yandong and former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton addressed the need to increase access to health and education for children in both China and the U.S. The Vice Premier noted that despite rapid growth, 128 million Chinese people live below the U.N.'s poverty line. That adversely affects children, especially from rural areas. China is set to roll out a national development plan for children in poor areas soon. Our goal is to build a safety net of minimum support to ensure the healthy growth of every child in China. Clinton has made the well-being of women, especially young girls, one of her main causes since leaving office and said investments in China's youth will pay off. It is true we are both mothers and maybe that gives us a particular perspective, but it's also because as uh, leaders in our respective nations, we have seen how important it is to tend to our very youngest citizens. The two high-ranking women have much more in common. Having set up the 100,000 Strong Foundation back in 2010, it is now a central tenet of the U.S.-China relationship. This has opened a new chapter in promoting mutual understanding and exchanges between the two peoples, and it has become a good example of people-to-people -people exchanges between China and other countries. Here, I wish to once again pay respect to Madam Clinton, the co-founder of this mechanism. During her D.C. visit, Vice Premier Liu will join the current U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry on Thursday in Washington to promote the people-to-people -people exchange. Ahead of that, she toured the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and met with U.S. lawmakers. The Vice Premier also met with U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, who will be visiting Beijing in December. Of course, that's a high-level people-to-people exchange, but the people-to-people -people exchange is merely a reflection of the growing movement between the U.S. and China. Believe it or not, 10,000 Americans and Chinese fly across the Pacific every day. Can you imagine how many interact online or over the phone? So the whole idea of this project is to equip both country citizens with a better understanding of each other. More chances for Americans to travel to China, encourage uh, cross-border entrepreneurships, and even Americans learning Mandarin. Mike, my, my Mandarin isn't so good, but I hear you've been learning something. <laughs> Whenever somebody asks me to do Mandarin, I say totong, which is headache, because I can't, it's tough to shift. <laughs> but let me ask you a quick question. Um, it seems like this is, is so great to see, you know, the, this people-to-people -people connection, and yet we still hear about this military buildup on this side and on this side, which seems like they're, they're kind of conflicting messages in a it, way. It's funny you say that because the people-to-people -people exchange is going on just as the commission that's due to look at uh, the military buildup in uh, the Asia-Pacific region actually launched its report for the last year, and they have actually warned the Pentagon that they see uh, Chinese military buildup uh, throughout the Pacific and have gone along with the recommendations of the White House to re-pivot to Asia to put 60% of their military assets in that region. So perhaps people-to-people -people exchanges are a good way to go to reduce some of those tensions. Absolutely. Zai Jen, there you go. Thank you. Goodbye. Very much.